The SANDF Chief General Rudzani Mapwanya briefed the media in Pretoria. I had never been appointed to lead the, 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 the killer squad or murder squad or abduction teams. That is not what I had been appointed to do as the commander and as the chief of the National Defence Force. And I take this thing very seriously because what message do we want to convey to the people of South Africa? He also poured cold water on allegations of a military torture squad. There are no military squads in the Defence Force that exist to carry out acts of torture and murder for whatever reasons. The South African National Defence Force stands for the defence and the protection of the people. Open Secrets allege that at least four units are part of rogue activity within the military. The torture squad is allegedly linked to the disappearance of ISIS funder Abdella Abadiga and his bodyguard, the murder of Hawks investigator Colonel Franz Matipa and military weapons that were stolen in 2019. If you say there are eight squads in the military, why are you not taking the heat squads? The issue to say there are heat squads to the military, inappropriate statutory organizations that are law enforcement organizations. There has never been any attempt to, to, to disregard any critical information that may tarnish the image of the SNDF. And hence, when these allegations came to the fore, the first thing to do was to put a, a team that would get to the core of, of the issues. Meanwhile, the SANDF emphasized that some of the matters are still before the courts and are sub -judicate. The Board of Inquiry is also busy with its own investigations and reports. After forum once the reports prioritized and made public. This matter is not going to disappear. We have stated in our letter that we will consider legal action to compel the chief of the SANDF to perform his duties and react upon this report if he doesn't do so in due course. According to media exposés, it's here at the Tabatswane military base where a former intelligence operative turned whistleblower Puleng Omo claimed that he was detained and allegedly tortured by the torture squad in early 2020. He claimed that those who tortured him were from the SANDF special forces and wanted information on the weapons that were stolen in 2019. The SANDF say the matter must be handled with integrity. The army chief has reiterated that uh, the allegations stipulated by whistleblowers and contained in media reports cannot be taken lightly. He says this must be taken to the police. He has urged all who have information to take the necessary evidence to law enforcement agencies for proper investigations instead of just reporting on it. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News in Tabatswari.